So let's talk about some of the things that you hope to accomplish if elected. I mean, are, obviously when you enter something like this, you have a list of things that you sure. campaign on and that you hope to get right to work and trying to accomplish. What are the top three things? Well, I have been blessed to have great relationships with um, both um, uh, Republican and Democrat leaders, leaderships in the House and Senate. And so I, I already have some good relationships fostered that I think that um, that will help in getting things done, especially for a you know freshman legislator. Um, the, the two biggest things that I, that I now granted, you kind of go where you're kind of dictated to go, but the two things that are really on my heart that I think really need to be addressed are, um, you know, things, anything that'll help the economy. I mean, you know, my family's hurting. Your family's definitely seen the, you know, the difference of cost of groceries and gas and everything. Um, and, you know, initiatives that can bring immediate relief to people of my district, it would be have to be the number one priority. Um, you know, the pay the second highest gas tax in the country. Um, and then we don't use the liquid fuels money that we take in to do the necessary infrastructure repairs that gets shuffled off to some pension program or so those that is probably the, the number one thing that I would like to, to work on. Um, school choice is a big thing for me too. Um, I think uh, people, parents of the district should have a say so of where their kids could go to school and not based on geography. You know, they can take those tax credits to other places that fit their child and their academic goals. And um, that's one where the one section where me and my opponent drastically differ. Um, she's very not very much not for school choice and has voted against that and uh, um, um, and I'm very much for it. And so when this opportunity came about, it took me literally about a month to decide what I wanted to do. And um, this might sound kind of corny or flip, but um, you know, this, this race wasn't going to be about Dave Buell's dream and his political career. I mean, obviously I have that dream, and, um, but this was going to be about giving voice and representation to a sect of people that maybe are looking for something a little different, a little new, a new, a fresher voice, a newer voice, a new set of eyes to look at some very old problems and see what they could do. And, you know, we talked to my wife extensively, my pastor, my, you know, my uh, business partner and uh, it took me quite a while to decide that this is the right thing to do and then when it does when it went when, or when we decided you know we're all in my wife's very much part of the campaign and um, so yeah th so there's a lot of things about the district that um, make it perfect for me 